Camille Saint-Saëns was racked with pains when people addressed him as Saint Saints. He held the human race to blame because it could not pronounce his name. So he turned with metronome and fife to glorify other forms of life. Be quiet, please. For here begins his salute to feathers, furs, and fins. is the king of beasts and husband of the lioness. Gazelles and things on which he feasts address him as your highness. There are those who admire that roar of his in the African jungles and veldts, but I think wherever a lion is, I'd rather be someplace else. is a roistering hoodlum. His battle cry is cock a -doodlum. Hands in pockets, cap over eye, he whistles at pullets passing by. Have you ever harked to the jackass wild, which scientists call the onager? It sounds like the laugh of an idiot child or a hepcat on harmonager. But do not sneer at the jackass wild. There is method in his hee-haw, for with maidenly blush and accent mild, the jenny ass answers she-haw.
Come crown my brow with leaves of myrtle. I know the tortoise is a turtle. Come carve my name in stone immortal. I know the tortoise is a tortle. I know to my profound despair, I bet on one to beat a hare. I also know I'm now a pauper because of its tortily, turtly torpor. Elephants are useful friends, equipped with handles at both ends. They have a wrinkled moth roof hide. Their teeth are upside down, outside. If you think the elephant preposterous, you've probably never seen a rhinoceros. The kangaroo can jump incredible. He has to jump because he's edible. I could not eat a kangaroo, but many fine Australians do. Those with cookbooks as well as boomerangs prefer him in tasty kangaroo meringues.
Some fish are minnows, some are whales. People like dimples, fish like scales. Some fish are slim and some are round. They don't get cold, they don't get drowned. But every fishwife fears for her fish, what we call mermaids and they call merfish. In the world of mules, there are no rules. Cuckoos lead bohemian lives. They fail as husbands and as wives. Therefore, they cynically disparage everybody else's marriage.
Puccini was Latin, and Wagner Teutonic, and birds are incurably philharmonic. Suburban yards and rural vistas are filled with avian Andrews sisters. The skylark sings around a lay, the crow sings the road to Mandalay, the nightingale sings a lullaby, and the seagull sings a gullaby. That's what shepherds listened to in Arcadia before somebody invented the radio. Some claim that pianists are human, and quote the case of Mr. Truman. Saint-Saëns, upon the other hand, considered them a scurvy band. Ape-like they are, he said, and simian instead of normal men and women. Midnight, in the museum hall, the fossils gathered for a ball. There were no drums or saxophones, but just the clatter of their bones, a rolling, rattling, carefree circus of mammoth polkas and mazurkas. Pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mastodonic wassail, I caught the eye of one small fossil, Cheer up, sad world, he said and winked. It's kind of fun to be extinct. <laughs> Thank you. 
The swan can swim while sitting down. For pure conceit, he takes the crown. He looks in the mirror over and over and claims to never have heard of Pavlova. Now we reach the grand finale, Anamali Carnavali. Noises new to see and land issue from the skillful band. All the strings contort their features, imitating crawly creatures. All the brasses look like mumps from blowing oompa oompa umps. In outdoing, Barnum and Bailey and Ringling, Saint-Saëns has done a miraculous thingling.
Thanks so much.